Welcome, 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 welcome to the Boxing Bookie. We are back. We are back. It is good to be back. Uh, the Boxing Bookie is, uh, we're going to get to a good one today. Luis Alberto Lopez, Angel Leo, which is a fight I really, really like. Uh, 50-50 kind of coin toss. I think either fighter could win this fight. I think this is a fun fight to bet. Uh, before we get into that, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. The Boxing Bookie comes at you every uh, for every single major fight, so you have to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. The bookies, the odd makers, they don't know what they're doing. I do. I'm going to show you how to make money betting on, on the sport of boxing. Uh, join the Patreon. Link is in the description. Link is in the description. Just $5 a month gets you the lock of the week. It gets you all the updated prop bets. Uh, like props on this Angel Leo fight, they're not out yet, so I can't give them to you because they haven't been dropped yet. But when they do, come over to the Patreon. I'll show you how to make money. It's just five dollars a month. You can also ask the bookie anything, uh, request a video. There's a ton of other perks for you guys. Uh, let's get uh, losing my brain here, losing my brain. Um, All right. Uh, also, uh, subscribe to the channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That's Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to autism research and recovery. All right, let's get into this fight. Luis Alberto Lopez is a guy that, if you've been following my videos, you know, I like a lot. Uh, I, I've always picked him. I said, keep an eye on this guy. Keep an eye on this guy. I was at his kind of breakthrough fight when he beat Ray Jimenez back in early 2019. Um you could see that there was something to him. It was a Roy Jones card in, in, in Washington, uh, the middle of Washington, and you could see that he had something special. You could see that he was a unconventional guy with power that could confuse you. He could make you miss a little bit. He could do a lot of things. And he, I said at that time, it reminded me a little bit of Carl Frotch in the sense that uh, he looks bad. Uh, you know, it looks like he might just be a hitter. But he's actually subtly doing things really well. Like they, subtly, there are things he's he's doing very well that you might not notice. He's got on. Obviously, he's won world titles. Had a couple of defenses. Uh, this is a guy that now is really taking center stage. People want to see him. People put him in you know fantasy matches and dream matches, and, and he's really burst onto the scene. And you know he's deserving. He's been, he's been a fighting champion. He's he's an excellent fighter. He throws from a barrage of, of angles. Shoulder rolls a little bit and, and can avoid shots. Uh, he's a little slippery on the inside. Yeah, you don't really expect that from him. He's strong, stocky looking. You know, he's kind of, a, you know, stocky and sloppy. You don't expect him to have that kind of kind of movement and, and be that kind of slippery. He uh, walks straight in, but he's freakishly strong. Throws hard shots, and unconventional combinations and, and, and from angles. He's just... A, He's weird to deal with. He's got a great chin. He absorbs shots really well. He's great biome. He's just a little engine that could. Now he's a little engine that did. He keeps punching. He he lunges. He's out of positions at times, and he's falling over his feet. Like there's things that he does wrong, but his timing is good on his counter shots. He's got good legs and athleticism. He can make you miss a bit, and he can counter you when he does. He'll he'll get you. His kind of awkwardness causes you to do things that you wouldn't traditionally do. And then when you're out of position, he counters you. It, it, it's a lot to deal with. Good mobility, good hand speed on his hands, on his combinations. He puts them together pretty quick. He's a lot more of a complete fighter than he looks like, but he does have these flaws. Like, like he's got these fatal flaws. Like he's falling over himself and he's lunging. And he's, and he's so easy to counter when he, when he gets over aggressive. Uh, he, and he also seems to fade a little bit. He slows down. And when he slows down, I think this is going to be the key for Angel Leo. He becomes easy to hit. Uh, Angel Leo's got quick feet, too. Good bounce to his step. Good head movement. Nice jab. Nice snappy, snappy jab. He's got a well, he's got a high ed highly educated jab. He knows how to use it. He's got really good feet as well. He's got high ring IQ. He's a high IQ fighter. He can fight in all three levels. Good body punch. Really, really commits to his shots. Sits down, uh, but he doesn't have that great one-punch power, but he commits to his shots, and he makes the most out of the power that he does have. He's defensively res re responsible, unlike Lopez. Leo finishes. He stays. He's a fighter. He stays behind his height, height guard. And, and works behind the jab. He, he likes to be on the inside. He rips body shots, really commits to the body. He's accurate from the outside with the right hand. 
Uh, he's got a sharp, quick lead right hand that he, he strikes with. It strikes like a cobra. It's good. Uh, that's really his best shot from the outside. And, and on the inside, he really attacks the body. He stays busy. Strong pushes forward fighter as well. This is going to be combustion between these two. I, I like that lead right hand. If he can score that, and then that, that will allow him to get himself on the inside, uh, where I think he can win this fight. He's got problems too. He, he jabs in the mid range. He's he's got his own issues, uh, but he's a relentless guy. That's good from all three distances. When he's not jabbing in the mid range, he's good in the mid range. Relentless, good body puncher. He's persistent. Uh, so this is a tough fight to bet, right? Like to me, this is a true 50-50 fight. So I'm I'm gonna bring up the odds. I I said this in the uh, Rio and, and um, Pitbull Cruise, but it's a 50-50 type of fight. And when someone's paying plus 300 or more in a 50 50 fight, just bet that fighter. And that's kind of what we have here. Angel Leo is plus 340. So he's basically a three and a half to one dog. Lopez, they're telling me he's almost a five to one favorite. That, that is way too wide. That is way too wide. I, I'm not 100% convinced Angel Leo wins this fight, but I'm 50. 52% convinced that Angel Leo wins this fight. So to me, this is worth it. I would throw a one times bet on this. A one times bet is going to make you, obviously, a $100 bet would make you 340 The other bet I would like, and the props aren't dropped on this yet, is the over. I really like the over. I like the fight to go the distance. I would bet the over on this. I, I don't know what they are. Right, this is so we got. Yep, they don't have the over yet. When they do, Hop over to the Patreon. I'll show you how to bet the over. I'll show you what to do with that. I, I think this fight goes the distance. I, I, I'm pretty confident on that. Um, but for now, this is a great... I, I wouldn't add this to a Paul Like I'm not super confident that Angel Leo wins this fight. I think he's got a good chance. I think it's a 50-50-ish kind of fight where I would ever so subtly lead towards Leo, but the odds make this worth the bet. Uh, it's just like I said about Rayo last week. I'm going to say the same thing about Angel Leo. So hop on over, uh, make that easy, keep it simple, one times bet, makes you $304 on an all bet. Let me know what you guys think, leave your thoughts, comments below, please like, share, and subscribe, follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing blog on all forms of social media, uh, the Boxing Bookie comes at you for every single major fight. Um, it is August 7th, 2024, uh, from Texas to the world, thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.